Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am not normally one who goes out and buys all the brand new makeup releases as soon as they come out. I think if I did, I'd have no money left, but also I just prefer for them to have been out for a while just in case there's any issues of any kind, like with the subculture palette and things like that, but, <laughs> but. This week, Team Revolution Beauty sneaked a new collection over on their Instagram page for Revolution Pro. Now, I think I only own one product from Revolution Pro. I've not tried them all that much. They came out with this gold collection this week, which is very luxurious looking. If you look into detail on it, for example, there is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, I think it's called. And then, there's a lipstick collection, the New Neutral Satin Matte Lipsticks. They come in six shades in total, and when I saw the picture on Instagram, I just needed them. <laughs> I just had to get them. So it was all a little bit confusing because they said that the products were coming this week, but then as it turned out, they were coming to some super drug stores first and then online afterwards. It was all a bit confusing. Shout out to Superdrug in Marble Arch because what Superdrug have started doing is they have a page on Instagram for each of their individual stores. I messaged the Marble Arch store, which I think is their flagship store, quite early on Friday morning and they got back to me like that and they had the collection so I went in after work to pick up just the lipsticks. So I only went for four out of the six shades. They retail for five pounds, which is pretty good for a drugstore lipsticks, I'd say nowadays, because I keep seeing the prices climb up. Compared to the rest of the collection, I've seen some bits that seem to be 10 pounds and over. So at least I felt like the lipsticks were pretty cheap. I still didn't want to spend 30 pounds on the whole collection though. So I stood there for a while deciding which shades I wanted. So I've got Stiletto, which is the red shade. They then had a berry shade and a purple shade which looked nice but wasn't really feeling for summer. I feel like maybe when autumn comes around I might decide that I want them and I might go and pick them up depending on how I like these. So the other three that I went for are the more neutral shades. So we've got velvet, we've got stripped and then the lightest one is cashmere. So they come in this leopard print gold cardboard. Now I do really like when drugstore products come in cardboard. There's something a bit more high-end feeling about it. Usually drugstore products, they just come wrapped in plastic, which is really annoying to take off. When you open them up, this is what the tube looks like. So it's gold with the same leopard print on it as the box. I suspect this is inspired by Charlotte. Tilbury. I saw she had some new lipsticks and some of them have got leopard print on them, but I don't think they all do. I think that's what it might be inspired by, but I could be completely wrong. So I have swatched all the lipstick on my arm and I thought it would be really nice to compare them to some products that I already had, which might give you a better idea of what they look like. And then what I'm going to do is swatch them on my lips and see how they feel as well. So from left to right, we have Stiletto from Revolution Pro. Then we've got Red Velvet and I've also also got Max Ruby Woo. The next one is Velvet next to Riot from Lime Crime. Then we have Stripped from Revolution Pro and Cupid from Lime Crime. And finally, Cashmere next to Manila from Ofra and Bleached from Lime Crime. The one thing that I've noticed is that the shade that's on the box, I really don't find that it matches the lipstick. If we take Velvet, for example, this is the shade on the box. This is the shade on the bottom. There's a difference. It looks a bit more brown here. It looks a bit more pinky here. And then you open it and it's a dusky rose color. I think they look completely different personally. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get these on my lips and see how they feel and whether I like the look of them or not. So I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest, which I think will make removing them a lot easier. I'm gonna go in with Cash Mirror. It's a really pretty nude color. So that's why I've swatched it next to Ofra's Manila. When I saw it, I thought it looked quite similar. So potentially one that I might quite like this summer. Let's see what it looks like on the lips. Oh, also this is the first time in ages that I've used a bullet lipstick. I never use them, so I might struggle. Easy come, easy go. No stress, I'm good without it. Easy come. 
So the bullets are really, really matte. So it does look, it's got a little bit of a sheen on the lips. It's not fully matte, but it's quite pretty. It dragged a little bit as I started applying it. I could feel it tugging and then it kind of softened up and felt more creamy. I'm so used to matte liquid lipsticks. Feels quite nice though. It's pretty. Let's move on to the next one. The next shade is Stripped. Now, again, if you look at the color that you see on the box and on the bottom, these are so different. So definitely swatch them in store before you buy them. Don't trust this box. It's just such a massive difference. Really can't be trusted. This is probably more similar than the color that's on the bottom, but this is definitely more pink and this is definitely more brown. Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you all know what's going on with the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks at the moment. And I mean, this one has got some lines and a weird heart imprint on it. So let's see how it looks on the lips. This is super pretty. I really like this. Didn't drag this one as I applied it. It felt super creamy. It's definitely not completely matte once it's on the lips. This is gonna move around, I feel like. They're also not that pigmented. I am having to go over quite a few times. So I feel like if you've got really pigmented lips, I would definitely put foundation over your lips before you apply these lipsticks because I feel like otherwise you're gonna struggle to get the color out. But this is pretty, it's cute, I like it. I will be wearing this. I definitely do feel like I was expecting them to be a lot more matte on the lips just because the bullets themselves look so matte. I don't even know if I've ever really bought a matte bullet lipstick so I don't know if I've got anything to compare it to. All right, next up is Velvet. This as well is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like under some lights it looks really pink and under others it looks a bit warm. Warmer, so let's see how it turns out on the lips. This one's got me a little bit more excited. I'm not sure if it's just because the other shades are lighter. It could just be that. And this one is slightly darker, but it definitely feels more pigmented to me. Definitely not matte on the lips. You can tell there's a bit more of a reflection going on under the lighting, but this is a really pretty color. This will transfer. Let's just do a quick. Yeah. Again, no comparison point when it comes to other matte bullet lipsticks, whether they transfer or not. This definitely isn't coming out as matte as you'd expect. So that is just one thing that I'd say if you're looking for something completely matte, other formulas or even a matte liquid lipstick are probably a lot better. But I do really like this color. It is really, really nice. More pigmented than the others. Again, it's super, super creamy while applying it. I, could, I can see myself wearing this one a lot. It's really, really nice. The final color is the one that I'm most excited about because it's the one that I want to wear with this look. This is Stiletto, this is the red. I was kind of hoping it would maybe be a dupe for Ruby Woo, but the colors did look slightly different in the swatches. Bearing in mind I was using Ruby Woo with a lip brush just because it's from my kit. I didn't want to swatch it directly on my arm and it was struggling to build up a bit more, but this one felt a little bit darker. I'm gonna bring my mirror in closer for this one because I want to see what I'm doing when it comes to red. Just because I'm struggling the most with the bullet, I'm just gonna finish it off with the lip brush.
Look, we all know which one is gonna look better for the gram. It's gonna be using the bullet, but I can't get a crisp line with it. It's gorgeous. It's super pretty. It is really, really, really nice. Again, you can tell it's definitely not matte once it's applied. It does feel very creamy. It is the one that had the most tugging as I was applying it. I could actually feel it moving into the tube. But yeah, it feels really, really nice on the lips. The darker shades are more pigmented. They have not got this same transparency as the lighter shades did. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Also, my face definitely does not match my body. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Just a really short one today, just to quickly show you these lipsticks. Let me know in the comments down below, will you be picking up anything from this collection? Will you be skipping it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you want to see more of this eye look, this won't be going up on my YouTube channel, but it should be up on my Instagram on Friday. So do make sure that you go and give me a follow over there. I used my new Viseart palette for this. Feel Unique sent me this in PR and I was gobsmacked. This is some expensive eyeshadow and my god, my god I see why people love it. Blends so easily, it does all the work for you. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video then do please give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Bye guys!